Hi guys. Smiling. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Let's. Uh, should we double check if we're live? Should we do the, yeah. the usual thing? Let's definitely check. Um, Is anybody out there? Yeah, let us know. Just write a few. Write in the comments. Just let us know that we're loud and clear. You can hear us and see us. Um, I wonder who will be first. Yeah, okay, let's I might see check on my phone first. while we're yeah. while we're waiting. Make sure that we're coming through. <laughs> Let's have a little look. Is anybody there? Anybody there? Oh, yeah. Oh, hi. Hi, Dave. Hi, Angus. Dave, you're not meant to be here. <laughs> Dave, you're meant to be in the airport on your well, way you to Nepal. Well, you are meant to be here. <laughs> yeah. Instead, you've got us. <laughs> yeah, today you've got me, Vicky. Hi, guys. You're Vicky. I yeah. am Vicky, dancing but, Yeti here. You've hi. done this before, haven't you? Yeah, a couple of times. A couple of times, A while yeah. ago. Yeah. yeah. I've done you've this been doing it more and more often three recently. Three times in a row now. Yeah. <laughs> People are this sick is the of new it. Andy and Dave. People are sick of it. <laughs> Hi, Richard. How are you doing? Simon. Afternoon, Angus. Nice to see you guys Afternoon on all. here. Ah, and hello, Evertrack. We have <laughs> Jody on comments today. So hi, Jody. Jim. Got Jim Blues. Hi, hey, Jim. Everyone okay this morning or this afternoon, should I say? Yeah. Have you all been enjoying the sun? Let us know. Have you been uh, what have you been up to? Bri Bri. Well, hello. <laughs> hi, Bri Bri. <laughs> <laughs> so nice yeah, we you. were at um, Keswick we? Mountain Festival on the weekend, enjoying the sunshine we in the Lake District. So that oh, was really God. nice. It was hot, wasn't it? It was hot. Yeah, black tent is a bad idea in the sunshine. Yeah, we got to change that branding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mix gotta... it all up just for that. Yeah. Hi, Hi Andy. Andy. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Yeah, it was a bit. Hot. It was good though. Yeah, we had a really nice time. time. Yeah, yeah was... spoke to lots of nice people and. Yeah, it's some new Evertrackers, some yeah. old Evertrackers. Well, yeah. not old, but current. current yeah, current Evertrackers. Ever we um, actually had a crocheted Yeti made for us as well, which I believe Dave uh, is currently taking to Nepal. So that's really exciting. Did we come up with, with a name? I think, didn't Dave call it Dai? Dai because oh, it's Welsh for Welsh, Dave Welsh and it Dai. was Nepalese for, I don't remember, Dave, if you're still there, please let me oh, know. Oh, yeah, like so Brother or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, it's a... Hi, David. Hi, David. Andy. So was anyone here at Keswick on the weekend? Yeah, yeah, let us know. If, um, well, we saw a lot of people, so we might not remember everybody. Yeah, we might not remember but, everybody, but... Yeah. Ah, back in Kenya. Oh, somewhere. lovely, Louise. That sounds awesome. Oh, Bendrick, oh, yes. Oh, Bendrick, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah, remember yeah. you. That's right, that's right. Yeah, lovely. Nice, nice to see you again. And we had a awesome competition, didn't we, on the weekend to win a free trip we on did. our Mount Two Car Weekender? We did. We also had a spin the wheel, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, there we go, David. He said, "Die is Nepalese for brother." Yeah. You were ah, right. I did remember. Well Amazing. remembered. Toying well, with calling him Namshi. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. John Stevenson. Hello. Interested in any two cow feedback? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Any specific cow. feedback? Yeah, yeah. Have you got any? John? Pop your questions in the comment, and we'll we'll try our best to answer them. Yeah. Um. I was the one that won that bag. <laughs> Great. Amazing. <laughs> awesome. Oh, oh, yeah. You won a bag on the weekend, didn't you? Yeah. The, oh, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to remember. Oh, hi, Andy. I remember you. Yeah. <laughs> me and Andy both bags. won bags from, from the um, tool stand. I think that's how you, how you, um, Thule. Thule. I'm not, not sure, sure how you pronounce it, but yeah. yeah, we both won bags. So, yeah, nice, nice for you to be on here, Andy. Oh, hi, Lindsay. Yeah, we remember you as well with your three girls. Yeah. Amazing. Nice Lindsay. to see some of you on here. I hope you uh, yeah, all well, had a lovely weekend yeah. and still enjoying the lovely weather. Yeah, it was a bit too hot, I thought. I'm not going to complain about it being it's too hot. too hot. No. Least, well, at least it wasn't raining. <laughs> I would have liked to have jumped in that lake, though, but we didn't really have time. <gasps> we did say did we, we were going to do yeah. that, didn't we, at the end? We should have done it at we the were, end. We were knackered by the end of it. Too busy going to get a pint, weren't we? <laughs> yeah, queuing up at the <laughs> Timothy Taylor stand. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Very busy. Yes. Um, well, what do you want to do? What well, should we do? Should we talk a bit about tube cow, seeing as that was our competition? What is tube cow? What for those, is tube for cow? those of, <laughs> for the people that don't know, where is tube cow? It's in the Atlas Mountains in Morocco. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> have you been? <laughs> I have been too many times. No, I've been I've been twice now. Uh, Dave, who who um, is not here, um, he's been three. Times. Two and a half, he two likes to say, two, doesn't he? Actually, yeah, we don't, yeah. We don't count. Two oh, half. We forget the half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hi guys, I'm watching walking the dog in the woods in the rain. Oh, great! Oh, amazing. <laughs> Enjoy in the rain. In where the are rain. you, Amanda? Yeah, where are you? 
it's uh, it's still hot here. Yeah, Dave's confirmed two and a half times. Yeah. Two and a half, yeah. yeah didn't quite get saying. to the top on that one time, didn't it? Did he? But no, 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 unfortunately not. But yeah, yeah um, Tube Cal is is a great trip. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the the weekender, which is the um, the prize for for the lucky winner, who who will um, be announced shortly. Yes. At some point. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, you can literally you can you can trek it in two days. Really, the the trek itself, but the trip is four days. Yes. So um, yeah, Friday weekend. to Monday for the weekender. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's it's you know it's not the biggest of of mountains. Two cars on my bucket list. Yeah, it's. I think it's a bit of um. I was saying with um, me and Dave were talking last week a little bit about it, um, but it's quite a sort of underestimated yeah peak yeah. Um, I think a lot of people go into it thinking it's going to be super easy. Yeah. Um, but um, I definitely struggled the first mm -hmm. time I did yeah. it, and the second time um, with the weather and stuff, which can definitely um, yeah make it a bit harder. Well, you done um, a winter ascent on your last one. Yeah, you? did, a, was did a winter ascent in December. Was that in December? It was yeah. December. Yeah, yeah, it would have been December. Um, Twenty two, wasn't it? Now year and a half. Ago? Gosh, yeah. Yeah. Time flies. Um, and yeah, that was tough. Me and Dave did that. And yeah, we were crampons and helmets and ice axe, and it was pretty brutal. Yeah. But it was a great experience. Like, yeah. highly recommend it if you're wanting that kind of, you know, a bit of a bit of a challenge. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then the first time I did it was in April, May ish time. Was there snow um, on the top then? That was yes, yeah, yeah. There was there was still snow. I think around that time. It's kind of good to go because the snow's starting to kind of melt. Mm -hmm. um, so it is it is good weather. Um, but yeah, there was snow, but it was still super hot. Yeah. As well. Yeah. Well, not super hot, but it was it was pleasant. Yeah, it was pleasant. Yeah. Um we've actually yeah. just had a question about the um tube cal in winter. Right. So I'm hoping to go to tube cal in winter. Will I need any experience? Um well, I think experience is never a bad thing. No. Um you're definitely gonna enjoy it more. Um, I think because when I did it uh, in winter conditions, I wouldn't say I would have had much winter skills training. Um, you know, you'll have things like crampons. So if you've not used them before, it can be a, a bit daunting. Yeah, a bit yeah. daunting. But you will have time before, um, usually at the refuge, um, your guides will. The guys are great. They'll they'll talk you through what you're going to need, what you're going to be doing. Um, they'll show if, you, if you're if you brought your own crampons or you can rent them there yeah um so they'll they'll give you time to kind of adjust to that and um, get used to walking them because it, it, it can be um it can be interesting wearing them um sorry about that noise should i close that window yeah let me go <laughs> <close it. laughs> um <laughs> cheers got a bit of uh traffic outside going on um but yeah it, it can be a bit daunting using things like ice axes and, and crampons but i wouldn't say you need to have the experience beforehand um because yeah as i said you'll have time to to use those um but if you're if you're wanting to be a bit more confident and wanting that sort of experience definitely go for our scotland winter skills um you'll learn everything you need to know about um crampons and ice axes and and how to use those um properly yeah um so yeah, it's kind of uh, it's kind of preference, but I definitely recommend doing yeah. some, some training of some sort. It'll definitely help you, but you know you don't need it if you don't have time to fit it, and you can still go like Zach said. The guides yeah. will show you. You'll be guided along the way. So yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. What's Amanda um, saying? Going to Tube Cal end of July, not long now. Yeah, that's super exciting. Is it very hot at base camp and up towards the peak? Yeah, it will definitely July. be hot. Yeah, sort of down in Marrakesh and. Um, at like base camp level as you get up towards the peak it will cool down you'll likely have a nice breeze as well yeah. um but in july you you likely be looking at yeah at, le at least in the 30s yeah so bring yeah. that sunscreen yeah <laughs> and like jody always says bring your uh, lip balm as well because she suffered oh, from burnt lips on killy and yeah, yeah really struggled yeah. with that so. i had that the first time i we went to tube cal yeah um and it was it wasn't very fun no so yeah make sure you're and protected heat, yeah heat um, and the wind isn't it so yeah yeah 100 yeah, percent. um yeah lots of thin layers so that you can you can take them off when you need to and um, cover up as well when you need to from the bright sun yeah 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 definitely Lovely. We've got um, another couple of questions. Should we go through we? some of those? Yeah. yeah. Go for it. Is Tube Cal a first a good first high altitude track to do? Yes, 
I would say so. Yeah. Um, it was my first one. Um, if you, I don't know if, um, is it Jody on comments? Did we say? Yeah, Jody's um, on comments. I don't know if Jode can find um, the first Ascent film. So that was my experience. We made a little sort of documentary that followed my first experience at altitude um, on TubeCal. And yeah, it's definitely a really good one to start with because um, it's, yeah, it's just over 4,000 meters. So it's nothing to be sniffed at. Yeah, but it's, it's still a challenge. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. You know, you may or may not suffer with altitude. You know, some people do, some people don't. Um, you know, there are things that you can do to, to avoid that or to, yeah, to cope with it. Um, but yeah, I'd say it's a it's a good start. It's a good start, definitely. Yeah. 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 And we also have uh, what's the difference between the weekender and the eight day? So the main difference is just just the amount of time you're tracking on the eight day as well. You do have some time either side in Imlil and Marrakesh, whereas you you don't yeah. so much on the weekender. Of course, you can book extra days if you want to spend extra time there. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but the eight day track is is definitely a bit slower, and yeah, you you do it over a few more days as well. Yeah, there's a bit more time to to relax. I think um, I loved Marrakesh. Um, it's it's a really great place to to relax, and and the the hotels are great. And yeah, have a have a wander around the souks. Um, you know, if you want to do a bit of haggling, um, but yeah, on the eight day, uh, you should have time to to do that sort of yeah. before and after. I think yeah, after you, as well. yeah. yeah um, so yeah, the eight day, yeah, the eight day is really good if you want a bit more, yeah, a bit more of a feel of um, the culture, I guess. If you're wanting that, not just about the trek, um, but if you're wanting to just do it in a weekend, if you're struggling to get time off work and stuff yeah. like that, you go for the weekend. It's a nice one to fit in on a bank holiday weekend or something, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Um, and Chris, we have on here. He said he's saying hi from Peru, but can't stay long because he's going for breakfast. Well, oh, that sounds amazing, Chris. Enjoy your breakfast yeah, in Peru. Have a lovely day. Let us know what <laughs> you have. Us, yeah. <laughs> what, Let us know how it's going. What is a Peruvian? What is I? I do not remember. I'm yet to do Machu Picchu. Or yeah. Anything in Peru, so I went I to Machu Picchu a few years ago, and it was amazing. But I don't remember what I had for breakfast. breakfast. No. Oh, well. <laughs> I remember Machu Picchu, the important things, but not what Just I had for not breakfast. The <laughs> Talking Fantastic. of food, oh. maybe this is a good one for you, Zach. Oh. What is the food like on that tube, Carl? The food, it's well, um, if you like tagine, mm -hmm. that's that's basically what you're going to be eating. <laughs> a lot um, of tagine? Yeah, a lot of tagine. Um, yeah, it's kind of a staple in in, in Morocco, um, which is, if you don't know what tagine is, it's essentially like a crock pot mm -hmm. full of um, veg, meat. Like a stew kind of, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but so we had quite a few tagines, um, lots of bread, <laughs> olives. Yeah. Um, breakfasts were Sounds great delicious, as well. delicious, yeah. Yeah, it is nice. Um, and we had sort of pancakes and stuff for breakfast and, and sort of boiled eggs. Um, so you're definitely not going to go hungry. You'll have a quite a nice sort of mix of stuff get all your protein um, in for your hiking as well yeah yeah definitely yeah. um you'll be well looked after nice amazing to me. um yeah. that's all the questions we have at the minute but guys if you have any more please pop them in We're yeah yeah happy to answer any chris you don't match beat you yesterday oh i hope it was amazing. amazing yeah i hope you had a great time what was the weather like for you chris did it did the i know that it can be quite cloudy up there did it clear or yeah let us know i hope you had a really nice day Definitely. Let me just scroll back to see if we've missed any comments. Oh, Amanda, you're in Surrey. Is that where it's raining? Surrey. Hope it clears up soon. Oh, yeah. No good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Let us know if you've got any more questions sort of about Tucal or any trips. I any guess. other yeah, trips. Any trips. Yeah. Um, yeah, when do we when when do we want to do this announcement then? Should we should we leave it a bit or should we do we it in five minutes? Five minutes. Yeah. Should we do five minutes. Should we talk yeah. a, a bit more about two A little bit more about two Oh, what, yeah. what? <laughs> There's so what much we can we talk say about two yeah. I know. Why don't you uh, ask me some questions about two What was <laughs> your favourite point on two What's the most memorable? Oh, the most memorable. Um, I think. Um, Oh, what's Dave saying? I heard Zach is going back to Tukal with my with his him dear, his dear mother. You? Well, I joked about it. Oh, I don't know. I feel like my mum could do it. Turning into reality. Oh, I don't know. I feel like that's too much doing it three times. Yeah. <laughs> within <laughs> the space of else? like 
I know, yeah. I, yeah. I've got, there's plenty of other mountains out there. Yeah. You know, I've got to, I've got to spread my wings. Yeah. <laughs> just um, take everyone with you. Then. I know, right? Yeah. I'm, yeah. Just, I'm just the two Cal expert. Yeah. <laughs> you are. I should just stay over there. Yeah. Just be a representative, yeah. shouldn't I? <laughs> just be uh, lodged be at Imla. Part of our operations team in Imla. Yeah. yeah. That sounds perfect. <laughs> um, my favourite moment. I, I well, I think that the summit, the summit day. So you start the summit at well, I think we. have we started at 4 a.m. the first time I did yeah. it. So it's, an, it's a good it's early, amazing. early start. You know, be, you'll be waking up. There'll be uh, trekkers that have woken up before before you. Um, and, yeah, it depends who you're with. But that, the summit day is, it's a tough one. Um, it is a tough one. You know, you'll be, it'll be pitch black. You'll have your head torches on, your crampons on if you're in, in, uh, in snow and ice. And it's a pretty rugged experience, yeah. you know? And then you get sort of, I can't remember wh when exactly it was, but you get the sunrise while you're sort of walking up there. Um, and I remember Incredible. just like stopping and just taking it all in. And it was just amazing. Yeah. Um, you can see the far off mountains. And and then once you get to the top, you've if you've got a good day, you can see like the Sahara, like in the distance. And it's, it's, yeah, it's just such a incredible experience. Yeah. Um, but you've kind of got to you've got to earn it on the way yeah. up. It's, 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 it's the definitely feeling of reaching the summit though is just incredible. Yeah. I always get emotional when I get to the, to yeah. the top. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is amazing. So I've, that's probably my. Yeah. And then getting back down to Marrakesh yeah. afterwards, you're like, Whoa, and breathe is that's done. done. <laughs> yeah, that's over. Um, also yeah. a nice feeling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hundred um, percent. But yeah, that's probably my favourite my favorite moment oh we've got another question just for you zach oh they're all for me yeah they are all for me. you're the two cal experts uh, you just said yeah so. yeah go on <laughs> um what was the toughest challenge on tube cal the t well i think i'll have to say the summit again yeah <laughs> the waking up <laughs> yeah <laughs> just the reverse of what you just said yeah no uh, yeah. I, I i think coming down i've never been a fan of coming down yeah and I think you forget about it, don't you? Your focus is yeah. the summit, but coming down so hard. Yeah, the yeah. I think you, you know, you reach the top. It's amazing. You stay up there um, for a while, and then you're like, "Well, <laughs> let's do it all backwards." Gotta go right down there. <laughs> um, and yeah, the the second time when me and Dave went in December, it was like Marble Alley down there. Was it? Um, it was. You've got to be careful with your with your feet um so there was a little bit of slipping slipping and sliding um, yeah but you just keep the keep the pace you know and and make sure you you watch your feet yeah fair <laughs> enough um but yeah coming down yeah not a fan of that yeah not a fan of that no <laughs> <laughs> um all of these questions are coming for you Zach, right, go on, so go on. i'm just gonna I'm carry gonna on with you yeah there, i'm gonna be the question master these. and just yeah did you notice the altitude on tube cal um so the first time no which was interesting yeah um and then the second time yes yeah which is what what symptoms did you have makes no sense to me I, um, yeah it, it happens doesn't it um headaches um slight upset stomach yeah um and then it, it didn't last long um I remember it was like when we were approaching the refuge and I started to feel okay. a little bit sort of queasy. Yeah. Um, and you you can kind of just feel it in your chest, like you, you your breathing becomes a little bit more laboured and you, yeah. it takes yeah, it takes a bit more to, to to get a good sort of gulp of air. Um but yeah, I don't I don't know why I never felt it the first time. Yeah. I went. But it's just you it's know. the thing with altitude. Yeah. It's yeah, completely different. Yeah, sometimes you just can't predict it. Yeah, um, you'd be fine one time and yeah, exactly. terrible the next. So, um yeah. but yeah. Did you take yeah. diamox or anything either time? No, no, I don't think no. so. No. Um I think we brought some, some with us. Um so yeah, always always have it on you just in case. Because you're not you're not gonna know sort of how your body's gonna react until you until you do it really. Yeah. Um but yeah. Yeah. Perfect. There we go. Catch you um, later, Chris. Well, I hear you're also a Killy expert because you've also <laughs> done uh, Killy recently. So I did. What was the tougher out of the two, two Carl or Killy? Uh, Killy, yeah, hundred percent, yeah. I mean, is this longer or? Yeah, it's a yeah. it's a long one. It's it, you you take it in really slowly. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, 
and yeah, the summit night on um, Killy is it's, even earlier it, than two cows. It's, it's something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you you get up at eleven p.m. Yeah. <laughs> which is just weird. There's no point going to sleep. Your, your at that body's point. <laughs> your body's just confused. Yeah. Um, and then you you walk in very slowly uh, all the way up to like sunrise. Yeah. And then back down again. Um, so it's it's a pretty tough one. Yeah. It's a tough one. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, and we've got Lindsay asking, when's the best time of year to do Mount Tube, Carl? So there's there's two different seasons, really. So yeah. there's like the spring, summer season and the winter season. So either of those are the best time, but it really all depends on what like sort of experience you're after. Yeah. If you want the like snowy peaks and crampons, you know, more wintry experience, then yes. Yeah, They're very different the experiences. Time. Yeah. Because Rosie did it. Um, In May. Was it May? Yeah. So, yeah, I guess it was, it would be. Although, I don't know, did she get much snow? I can't remember from her. Um, no, um, I don't think. She, I'm sure she said there was no snow or little snow at the top. Yeah. And so I did it because I did it in April the first time. And there was there was snow on the summit day. Um, it wasn't snowing, but it was kind of left over. So, yeah, around that time, the snow should start to yeah. kind of disappear. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. But like, I think April, May is, um, you know, it's not too hot. The snow's still around a little bit. Yeah. If you go more in the summer months, um, you can definitely still track at that time, but it does tend to be quite hot. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it depends how you deal with the heat. It and, yeah. could be tough. Yeah. yeah. Just what type of experience you're looking for, really. Yeah. It's yeah. nice to have the options, isn't it? Yeah. If you want a bit of a challenge, do yeah. it in winter conditions. Um, We've got some customers booked on both summer, you know, doing summer and winter just to yeah. get a feel of it. Because like you said, it's completely different at both yeah, times, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Um, did you see much wildlife? Um, oh, that's a good question. I, you know, I don't think that the two times, I mean, other than sort of birds and stuff, we didn't, I'm trying to think. Yeah. I don't think we did. No? No. <laughs> other than like sort of <laughs> the mules. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lots of mules you'll see if you're doing tube cow you'll see a lot of mules yeah um going up and down um and yeah sort of leaving marrakesh you know plenty of camels and stuff the first time i went we did um a little sort of camel ride um which you can do if you're wanting to sort of a, a different experience but yeah um yeah other than that i honestly can't recall yeah. lots yeah. of insects yeah yeah <laughs> lots of bugs around yeah 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 definitely. Um, nice yeah um, how was the accommodation? Um, yeah, so um, on the weekend, so you'll you'll once you land in Marrakesh, you'll you'll be picked up and you go straight to um, a place called Imlil, which is in the Atlas Mountains. Um, it's a great sort of very picturesque looking sort of uh, village. Yeah. Um, and Imlil Lodge is where you'll sort of be staying as your sort of not base camp, but you know where you'll kind of be returning to. Um, and yeah that's a great place the rooms are great you know there's 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 comfortable beds uh showers um a nice sort of common area with a fireplace you can relax um and a nice rooftop um sort of um seating area yeah um okay. with ama awesome views like if you go into <laughs> imlil get to the 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 roof and like yeah perfect place for some photography and i think we did some like um sort of nighttime photography as well Amazing. in the evenings I yeah so i remember andy there. took his camera and yeah. got some really cool um sort of stars and yeah. stuff around Amazing. so yeah imlil is is quite a comfortable place mm -hmm. um and then so um so that's day one you'll stay at imlil and then uh day two you'll go from imlil to the refuge now the refuge is a bit of a different one um i wouldn't say the wrong word is <laughs> <laughs> it's it, it's a refuge yeah it's adventure it, travel yeah it's yeah. it's um it's a stone sort of almost totally. looks like a bit of a castle yeah you know it's kind of at the foot of the yeah of the of the peak and it's yeah it's nestled in there um and yeah it's it's very dark in there there's there's there'll be a lot of people depending yeah. on well depending on when you go you know it, it can be quite chock a block in there mm -hmm. um and the room that how the rooms work is is kind of uh, a load of bunk beds um that are quite closely sort of packed together so you will feel a bit like a sort of tin of sardines in there it's cozy um it is it is a cozy <laughs> one um so make sure you've got your your sleeping bag so you feel a bit more separate from <laughs> from other people um but yeah it's 
it's a bit of a different experience. Um, yeah, and then uh, I guess depending on the weather as well, if you're going into sort of this, the warmer months, you could have an opportunity to, to camp outside. Yeah. Um, I know Rosie did that. Yeah. And a couple of other people have done that before. Um, but um, I've never done that, so I don't no. really know. What yeah. Like. But um, yeah, you you could have an opportunity. It's usually to camp. yeah, it's usually an option in the in the yeah. hotter months. If you really don't want to camp, then you yeah. can go in the refuge. There's no problem. At yeah, all, yeah. Or, or vice versa. So. Yeah, and yeah. so yeah, after you've summited, you'll in the weekend uh, it can be a tough old day. You'll be summiting, going. You might spend a little bit of time just to rest in in the in the uh, refuge, but then that day you'll be going all the way back to uh, Imlil where you'll be picked up then, and then back to Marrakesh. Yeah. And then the next day you can... Uh, Shoot off. Yeah. Stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do whatever you want to do. Yeah, so <laughs> it's... Yeah, the weekend, it, it is intense. It is quite a... You know, it's kind of... Bah, 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 yeah. And then back. Um, but, yeah, sounds brilliant to sleep outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, if it's something yeah. you want to do, Amanda, when you go, just ask the guides, and they should be able to sort it out for you if you're going in July. Yeah, 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 yeah actually, yeah. Yeah, definitely. But, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So, this is for both of us. Which track Ooh. would we like to do next? Which track? Oh, go Mine on. Yeah, has go to on. be Ever Space Camp. It's always been is a it? bucket list to me. Yeah. yeah, I've always wanted to go there. Yeah. I think it's just one of those bucket list ones, isn't it? I've always fancied the Nepalese culture, just the Himalaya anyway. It just yeah. it all looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. Space Camp. Yeah, I... I don't know. There's loads that I want to do. I mean, I've, not, I've not done... I've not been to Nepal yet, and I I feel like it's sacrilege not to do that. Yeah, <laughs> like you know, um, it's what we're based on, isn't it? I know, so. <laughs> but I'd I'd personally I'd rather do one of the like more remote, mm -hmm. quieter ones, sort nice. of maybe uh, Langtang. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, know. Langtang. They all appeal to me. I yeah, want to do yeah. all of them. That's the problem. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, somewhere in Nepal. But yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And Dave is saying um, on T Mount Two, Cal camping is nicer in the summer. It's a lot cooler and quieter, and recommend bringing a thermo rest for comfort if you if you are planning on doing that. Um, yeah. But yeah, Amanda, feel free to drop us an email if you want us just to you know double check on the camping for you. That is mm. no problem at yeah. all. And booked on EBC next April. Super excited! Ooh. You've got all of them lined oh, wow. up. Yeah, nice. <laughs> got Amazing. a busy year. <laughs> Sounds super exciting. Mm. And Jim saying do Langtang Valley. It's brilliant. Oh, Amazing. Yeah, there we go. We'll get on it. Well, I better do it then. <laughs> yeah. That's your sign, Zach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I right. think. Should we? Um... It's time. Is it time? Should we announce the winner? Should we do the winner? Yeah. Are we? Are we revealing the weight first, or should we? Should we? Oh, let's announce the winner, then we'll reveal. Should the we weight. do the winner? Yeah. Right. Okay. So for those of you, I'll do a bit of a bit of a lead up to this. Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> to hype excited. Everyone. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, no. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, if you entered our competition on the weekend for the Mount Tubcal weekend track, you guessed the way to the bag. We're going to announce it now. Um, so, I've, I've, I've done something very fancy. Oh, have so, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You I'm excited to see. Get this. Um, let me <laughs> just tell We're a joke all while I'm trying yeah. to find it. Um, put me on the spot with a joke. That's... <laughs> I'm sure you know one. Um, right, yes. So, we're going to. Keep your eyes on your screens, and we're going to disappear for a minute, okay? Here we go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Gillian Bell. Yes, well done, Gillian. Congratulations, Gillian. Let's see. I, I don't know if you've... If you're on the live, but let us know if you are, if you're watching, and if not, don't worry, we'll we'll get in contact yeah. with you um, and uh, let you know that you've won. Yeah, That's very super exciting. exciting. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, congratulations. That's exciting. Yeah, we love wow. giving away our our. We free don't, trips, we? don't we? We, yeah. we love giving. It stuff is away. exciting. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> I'm, just I'm not sure if Julian's on here, but oh, yeah, no. very kind of yeah. you all to say congratulations. 100%. Let me just get rid of this. No problem. Shall we go back to some questions? Yes. So one second. Let me just have a look. So how can we see the dates and a more detailed itinerary for Mount Tube, Cal? So well, 
yeah, it's the same for all the trips. If you go on the website, you can have a, a little look. Um, you can select which trip that you want. Yep. And on the trip, there was a um, there's a tab for dates and prices and a tab for itinerary and things like that. So you'll be able to see um, all of that on there. You can always just drop us an email as well. Yep. Or give us a call if you want to discuss anything like that as well. Um, and I just realized I, I we think... forgot to actually say what the weight was. What so I was got carried way? away. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what was it, Zach? Am I going to say this right? Yeah. Do it. It was eight. Yes, kilograms. It was eight, yeah. it was eight kilograms. <laughs> it was eight kilograms. I don't know if I got that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eight kilograms. So yeah, yeah. congratulations, Jillian. Yeah, that's very exciting. Amazing. We had we had a, quite a lot of um, entries, didn't we? We did. Yeah, we had a really nice busy weekend. Yeah, so probably like over five hundred. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it was over yeah, five hundred. Yeah. yeah. A lot of good conversations with people. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. A lot of wheel spinning. A lot of wheel spinning. For a cliff bar a slash free cliff neck bars. bar slash lip bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Andy, so close. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we had some, yeah, lots of uh, different guesses, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, we did. So A lot of guesses. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Super exciting. Fab. Are there, are there any more questions? Should we uh, do a there couple There are more? a few more questions on here. So how, how do we book? How, how do can you people book? book? Well, you could, you can, you can pop on our website. You can yeah. call us up. Yeah, we like talking to our customers, don't mm -hmm. we? So, we do like so talking, yeah. we always say, call us up. Yeah, give us yeah. a ring. But if if you like to go online, you can just click the book now button on the website, and yeah. nice and easy, select your trip. Bish, and bash, bosh. Away done. you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Try and make it as easy as we can. Yeah. Are we at any events over the summer? Are we? Well, that's a good question, actually. Over the summer, no. So we have some training weekends that that we run. I guess they're yeah. not events, but. Yeah. We've got those. We're busy with those over the summer. We've got one in Snowdon and one in um, Bracken Beacons. We do. So we yeah. still have some space actually on the Bracken Beacons training weekend, don't we? So yes. Get on. Anyone's that. looking to book on? Yeah. yeah it's great, great fun times. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'll Always actually be fun. there as well with um, Helen, our, our curious Yeti, and Andy and Dave yeah. will be there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that'll be super exciting. I'll be at the Snowdon one. Yes, yeah, sure. you are. Me and yeah. Rosie. Yeah. So yeah. That'll be that'll be our first one actually. So yeah, the that, first one in that's Snowdon. That's very exciting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's just coming up next month now, isn't it? It's not is far it away. Oh gosh. It is, isn't it, June? I better get. Yeah. <laughs> get some get training. In. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Lovely. Okay, yeah, so there we go. So yep. Joe's just put a link in then to the training weekend. So check that out if you're interested, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So and yes. Yeah, so so just said as well. Would you recommend a um training weekend before doing your first high altitude track? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Um. It's not something you have to do, but it's always nice to meet the team, meet other ever trackers. Yeah. Usually people who have been on the track you're booked on. Um, at yeah. some of our training weekends as well, the um altitude center are there. Sorry, I forgot my words. Then. Yeah. So you can yeah, get yeah. hints and tips from yeah. them at being at altitude. So that's really helpful. We usually do like sort of round robin um, on one of the days uh, it can sometimes change. But um, yeah, so you'll we can go through like kit and um, yeah, equipment. Yeah. And, stuff and like you can that. ask questions. So it's really good if you've got if you've got questions and you're not quite sure about sort of what gear you need for, for whatever track you're doing. Um, you can yeah. bring it along as well so we can check stuff out for you and things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just, yeah, it's good. It's just a good fun time. Um, and you get some nice hiking. <laughs> you can connect with other other ever trackers yeah. and, yeah, make new friends. It's always yeah. good fun. Yeah. Nice hiking, nice vibes, yeah, yeah. nice food. Yeah. Lovely weekend. Yeah. 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 Nice we food, love yeah. going to them, mm. don't we? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Lovely. Um, would you recommend some winter training for two cal in winter we touched on that earlier didn't we about going on the yeah way. yeah so it's it, yeah as, as we said sort of preference yeah. but um yeah I, if you i'd recommend doing it yeah um, it just makes it a bit more enjoyable for you yeah yeah and um, what sort of mileage are you doing on two cal did you record that we tend to do our trips in in time um, yeah, so we tend to question. say it'll take um, you know between sort of five and seven hours or something like that. As opposed yeah, to, I think it's on the itinerary on the website. But yeah, at the top of my head, I'm not quite yeah. sure, but we no, can we great. can we can get back to you on that. Yeah, we can double check that for you. Yeah, um, if you want us to know sort of the times yeah. and stuff. Um, yeah. And Melissa, yeah. only six months to go until Everest Base Camp. That's so exciting. Ooh, that's exciting. That's soon going to be here, isn't it? I bet yeah, you've got your yeah. countdown going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Excited. Fab. Snowdon it is ace and climbing. Ah, Trivan. Is it Trivan? I'm not sure. Trivan, yeah. Trivan, this yeah, weekend, yeah. This weekend, if the weather's good. Oh, that'd be a good really time. Nice, Matthew. Matt. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. And oh Bri Bri's at Snowdon 
on the same day as the training weekend. Oh no! Just come and say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Might bump into you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Fab. Well, I. Oh wait, we do have a question. Did Zach ever see a hero save a child from certain death during the tube girl track? <laughs> <laughs> Funnily enough, that question's come directly from Dave. I Did wonder I who ever... he's... Well, I think what Dave <laughs> is referring to is he'll never let this go. He... <laughs> so we were on the way back down. I'm sure you haven't heard this story. Only only about four times. We're on the way <laughs> <laughs> We're on the way back down in Tube Cal and we got nearly well, yeah. Uh, couple of minutes to the sort of in little sort of area and we were sort of crossing this bridge and the wind was super windy <laughs> and there was dust everywhere and there was a family walking so true so rude <laughs> <laughs> and there was a family walking across this bridge and they looked it looked you know a little bit oh no a little bit ropey yeah, yeah. Like, oh dear <laughs> and so dave swooped out and he he claimed to have saved this uh, this family <laughs> yeah. I, i'm not quite i think they had it yeah I think they knew sort of what they were doing, but Dave seemed to be under the He can the have it if he wants it. I think in his head he flew over and he was like Superman or something. But I'm, you know, I, did he did he see it a bit differently to yeah, how you I saw just, it? <laughs> it's a little bit dramatic. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'm no hero. Just a man to do his best. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, if yeah, you yeah, said yeah. it. Sure, 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 sure. And what's Amanda saying? You went last year. It was great. I met a new friend. Oh, that's amazing. You're going to Patagonia together. How exciting. Oh, cool. Would recommend going on the weekend. Uh, that's amazing, uh, Amanda. Thanks for sharing that. Super exciting. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Fab. I, so I think we're out of questions. Oh, but yeah. yeah, if you guys have any other, please fire them over. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, Let me just check that I hadn't missed any on here. Okie doke. Slide up here. No problem. Did you have to buy any new kit for the trip? For two cal. So what? Yeah. Um. Well, for the for the first time, I bought nearly all of my stuff. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was completely um, <laughs> a, a newbie. Was Dave wearing his <laughs> underpants? On the outside? I think he thinks he was. Yeah. yeah. I, I think yeah. he has a different vision. Not to quite Zach. sure. What. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, so if you, if you've not done much hiking before, you know, you will have to buy certain yeah. things like, I mean, a big thing, it would be poles, trekking poles. Definitely. Um, they can really help. Some people don't like to use them, but, um, they definitely help. Um, you know, the support on the knees is always good. Yeah. Um, and we do have kit lists, don't we, for, for both tube cow yeah. other trips as well. Yeah, yeah, we've got yeah. kit lists. Um, I don't know if Jody can find it, but there's a, a recent blog um, that we did, um, which is kind of everything you need to know about tube cow um, that I put together um, fairly recently. So, um, yeah, it should be on kind of the most recent stuff. Um, so, yeah, if you pop that in the comments, Jode, that, that could be helpful yeah. for, for some people. Um, and Rosie done one as well, didn't she, on yeah. my first time at Altitude? Oh, yeah. Kit that won't not break the band, the... Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah, take a look at that one. That's That'll be really good if, yeah. you, if you're not sure um, with gear. Um, but kind of more expensive things, sort of like crampons, if you're going in winter, you know, you, you don't have to buy them. Yeah. You can um, hire them um, in, in country. Um, but you know, sometimes you know, it depends on you, you. Kind of, you don't really know what you're going to get. Um, so you know, if if you want to be a bit more comfortable and sure, I'd recommend getting your own. Um, so yeah. yeah, especially if you're planning on doing other sort of winter tracking. Yeah, well, yeah. If you're going to do it again, yeah. yeah, it's it's worth investing. I think hundred um, percent. Um, yeah. Oh, that's Amanda's going. I think thanks, guys. It's been great. Really happy she managed to get onto a live. There Amazing, Amanda. It was lovely to have you here. Yeah, thanks yeah. for nice thanks for joining. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Melissa's asking, do the planners have information in? Sorry, do the planners have information in with regards to the trips? Yes, they do. So they're personalised and individual to your trip. Mm -hmm. So there's loads of different pages on there with lots of different information from itineraries to kit and and other stuff as well. Yeah. Um, but if there's anything in there it doesn't cover, like we say, give us a call, drop us an email. We're more than happy to have a chat and answer any questions yeah yeah, yeah. and we've got the guides online that you can uh, download as well so you can find them on our website should um send you by e email um so yeah or we'll just pop us an email if there's anything sort of in particular you're you're missing yeah you know, exactly yeah. yeah yeah you'll get your uh, little buff as well with your planner so that's super oh, exciting yes. yeah 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 i have a track buff little surprise in there for you coming yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Nice. There no problem, Melissa. Fabulous. Right. Should we um some wise words at the end? Have yeah. You got, have you got anything, I have any not. Wisdom? No, don't put me on the spot like that. Oh great. Have you? <laughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John, before we, uh, I'm a newbie, we'll be doing two car and others. Nice. Amazing, John. Awesome. Nice to see you. Super exciting. Nice to have John. you on here. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. I hope you enjoy two car. It's, yeah. It's a great one. Yeah. It's a good start to peak. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. Words of wisdom. Keep on tracking. Keep on tracking. <laughs> um, be safe. Yeah. Listen to your guides. One step in front of the other. That's something I always live by when I'm tracking. Be adventurous. I would freak myself out before and someone just says, just one foot in front of the other. Yeah. Slow and steady. Forward is forward. Yeah. <laughs> I could keep, there's so many quotes. So many. <laughs> keep them coming. Um, but yeah, there we go. Um, yeah. Thanks guys for for joining us and um, congratulations to Gillian. Yes. Um, so if you've not, if you've not seen this, Gillian, we'll, um, well. We'll reach we'll, out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. we'll reach out. <laughs> um, and for those of you that did enter, maybe keep an eye out on your emails. Oh yeah, some something. It might good. be a little something coming your way. Mystery. <laughs> um, but yeah, there we go. Lovely. All right. Fab. Take care, well, guys. Nice Thanks one. for joining. See you, everyone. Bye.